For the first time in 20 years, Jamestown Democrats find themselves in the position of needing to find a candidate for mayor. With Mayor Sam Teresi's announcement that he will not seek re-election, the door to the mayor's office is wide open. But Jamestown City Democratic Committee Chairman Jim Walton says that while there's some interest, local Democrats are not beating a path to his door or flooding him with phone calls. We, uh, we put out a, uh, to the committee people, I put out a message um, on Tuesday morning saying that uh, if you're interested in that or any other position, you're probably ought to call me. And okay. the phone hasn't necessarily been running off the hook, but we have interest. Pundits have all got their short list of people who could run. But of course, Walton isn't saying yet who may or may not be interested. But he says he hopes to have a candidate nominee in place next week. As it stands, if we're down to uh, uh, a few people, I, uh, I had told the committee that I would appoint a three-person committee this week if it came to a choice where we had to start winnowing the field to come up with a recommendation. At-large City Councilman Andrew Liuzzo threw his hat in the ring last week and is seeking the Republican nomination. And Walton says he's heard from other people about other people they know who may be interested. Now Walton says his first step when he's contacted by a potential candidate is to see their resume. He wants to know where they've been, what they've done, and he said it's a plus if they've been locally involved in democratic politics. We look at that also for committee people. Um, I met a certain amount of resistance from some people within the committee when I said, you know, if you're going to be on the committee, you need to send me a resume. You know, it's, it's not going to be the determining factor, but there are people who are going to be on the committee who I don't personally know, and that's a good thing. When it comes to establishing a ticket, earlier is better, Walton says. After all, as of today, there are only 270 days until the November 5th election. In the newsroom, I'm Rory Polero for WNY News Now.